In this video, we'll have a quick look at uh, wall types under your settings for your project overview and just talking about how you can set up your own wall descriptions. Remember, you've got four wall types that you can use. You've got an outer wall, which you've got here. You've got an inner wall. You can set up a firewall and you can set up a chimney wall. It's a good idea always to make sure that these walls are the same settings across all four types if you're going to use that in a single drawing. So first of all I'm going to click on wall description to open up your section where you can actually modify existing templates or you can create new ones. So let's run through the top here. You can see there you can create a new template. You can copy an existing template. You can delete an existing template. You can rename it you can have automatic naming you can move the template up or down in the list and then you also can set the template as a default on this side here you can see you can insert a layer and you can get rid of a layer so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this existing 230 wall with a bit of a cavity in the center there of 10 millimeters that you can see there and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to mo modify it to a solid one. So let's do that. So you, first of all, you select the one that you want to copy. The other top, you're going to click copy. And it creates a new template for you here at the bottom. So now I'm going to select that one. And first of all, I'm going to rename it. You can rename it anything. But for now, I'm just going to rename it SA to identified you can really name it anything that you like or or more descriptive so what I'm gonna do first of all I want to get rid of the second and third layer and then I'm just gonna work with a solid layer there and create a wall that is 230 solid so what I'm gonna do is just click on this layer and then here at the top you say delete layer then that one is highlighted I'm just clicking it to make sure that I've selected and you can see it here in the profile sketch. I'm going to click delete that one and now we can work with this single layer here. And I'm going to click on that one. You can see it's a, at the moment it is 110 millimeters. So I'm going to make it 230. And then you can choose the material that you want to use on this wall. So from here you can choose one and this is more aesthetic than anything else. I'm going to choose a brick layer for this. Then you can choose a material, a plate material type. And you can choose none, which will just make it a wall, a non supportive wall. Uh, you can choose timber or you can choose concrete if you're creating a ring beam. So I'm going to leave it on timber for now. Then it's going to ask you for the plate width. Let's just make it more realistic. So I'm going to choose 111, which is the plate width, which is that. The plate depth, which is 36, plane size of your timber. Then you can do a plate offset. Remember, this offset is from the inside wall. So you have to then calculate the difference if you want to set it to a 50 or a 70 or a 30 millimeters on the outside. I've done the calculation here. So if you're using a 111 wall plate with a 230 wall, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take 230 minus your wall plate width which is 111 and minus your bearing offset which is 50 in this example and it leaves me with 69 millimeters from the inside wall I type in 69 millimeters and click on that and you can see it moves your wall plate across and then you can use this principles to create internal walls firewalls and chimney walls. Thank you for watching.